Let's go. Final quarter underway now. Runs it across for the touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. Mariota's taking off. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. The Colts put some points on the board on their previous possession, but it was just a field goal. They'll be looking to add some more right here. Yeah, they will. And, you know, listen, you know, when you talk about touchdown drives, you have to kick a field goal. What does that mean? That means you failed on third down. Just not a good play on third down. they got to do better in that situation. If they do, that's going to lead to seven points. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. Second down coming up. Trying to beat the play clock. They'll send it back to the quarterback out of the gun. Has 12 on this play. The Colts are really a true football team. Their defense, we know it's good. They don't want to just rely on it. The offense, nice job picking up that first down. Eat the clock up. Keep the pace of the game on your side. Small lead here in the second half. That was a good job. The clock's really become a factor here, and the defense knows it has to get off the field as soon as possible to give the team a chance. as the clock is winding down the offense would like to just run it out Mark Ingram carries the football after running it it's second down the Colts come to the line with an empty backfield Mariota's got it in the gun Intercepted. And he's brought to the ground. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. The Packers offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. A solid touchdown drive. Yeah, what a productive day so far for the offense. They're mixing it up well. They got confidence. The quarterback's throwing it well. This is a, a very good game so far. Time is beginning to fade, but the quarterback knows his team still has a chance. He must produce something in a hurry. Leonard Williams all over the quarterback. This might not be nice to say, but every once in a while it's kind of fun to watch the quarterback get sacked like that. Good job by the defensive end. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve a victory. Work for the deep ball. no less first down pressure on every snap now after the long game let's see what they do here they jam it in on the goal line touchdown oh you just love it as a quarterback you get down in there and it's first to go and you score now you don't have to sweat the fact that Man, what are we going to do if it gets the third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run. Nice touchdown. Get ready. Get ready. Really good job by the defense that time. Stopping a two-point conversion because they do so many different things on the offensive side now in the NFL. I think when the two-point conversion comes up on defense, 
attack the offense. Everything hinged on them recovering that onside kick, and they failed to do so. Well, Jim, when you're doing the onside kick, you really got to hope for that perfect bounce of the football. That time it did not happen. That's why they didn't recover. The Colts come out in a bunch set. First down and 10. And Ingram's the receiver on the screen. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. Ingram lines up in the backfield. Second down and seven. And Ingram is brought down after picking up only a yard. Jim, that's just playing it by the book. You got the lead, and you want to keep the clock moving, so what do you do? You run the football. When you're in the huddle as a quarterback in this type of situation, you just tell everybody two things. Stay in bounds and put two hands on the football. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. The Packers stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. They're going to go for it here on fourth and seven. They'll go for it on fourth down, late stages. Mariota's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The Colts turn the ball over on downs. Well, when you're winning in a tight game in the second half, I don't know about going for it on fourth down. That was a big decision. It could come back to really haunt them. The Packers' offense takes the field, and they are absolutely in desperate. Where gets him for the sack? You know, outside linebackers, they're everything all in one. They got to be a pass rusher, a uh, pass cover guy, and they got to be able to stop the run. Nice job that time getting the sack. Mariota's going to take it from the gun. Launches it down the field. Did he catch it? What an effort and a touchdown. Here we are in the last minute. They go deep. Everyone in the building knows they're going to do that. But they complete it for the touchdown and the lead and probably the game winner. Well, everybody knew that play was coming deep down the field, Jim. But the defense couldn't stop it. Give credit to the quarterback and receiver. And that offensive line, they gave him extra time to throw the football and allowed him to get that deep pass off. That'll be a touchback, and the ball will be placed at the 20. The Colts' offense comes out here, Phil, desperately looking to put a drive together that can give them a chance here late to win this game. Always the tough thing to do in a situation like this for the offense is don't try to make the big play. Let it happen. Take a short gain if that's what the defense is giving you, especially on first down. Get this drive started by doing the right thing. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. The Colts are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Looking across the middle, and it's batted down. The Colts come to the line, fourth quarter, with two timeouts remaining. Get ready. We're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Got to give the defense a lot, of, a lot of credit there, don't you, Jim? They are all over the receivers, all over the field, nowhere to throw it, and it just results in an incompletion. Third down and ten. Kendrick's got it on a pass, had some heat on it. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The Colts, one timeout remaining. Let's see how they back up the big play here. They'll go shotgun here. 
the defender able to knock it away. Coming off that incompletion, that leaves just enough time for one more snap. You have one more play, and you never know what's going to happen in the NFL when you have one play. There's so many talented receivers. They can make big plays even when they're not there. It's going to be fun to watch. Second and ten. Launching it deep. Going to be a penalty here. He was trying to beat him along, and the defenseman tried to catch up, reached in before the ball arrived, and that is, in fact, pass interference. Yeah, that's an easy call. You know, just think about this. We're down. You're running the race, and somebody during the middle of the race reaches his arm out and hits you. Of course, it's going to slow you down. That's why it's pass interference. First and goal from the one. And he's in. And the run wins the game. What a call. Driving extra point is good. A final play touchdown to win the game. What a finish to remember. Yeah, how about that? The last play of the game to score a touchdown. That will, hey, 20 years from now, you'll still be 